What's going on guys? The SSM back again with another video as my dog comes flying into frame. <laughs> uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you coming by for this video. Uh, big, big ish news, I guess, for the Dolphins today. Uh, some news did surface regarding free agency for the Miami Dolphins, something that's actually pretty interesting and deserves a conversation for sure. Um, first things first, I'm sorry for the, the filming and the audio. It's all on my phone. Again, just kind of wanted to get out a quick video about this topic. And if you could do me a massive favor, if you are into NFL content and more specifically the Miami Dolphins, uh, but definitely NFL content as we enter into free agency, uh, subscribe down below. We're almost at 800 subs. It has flown up over the last week or so. And that is all thanks to you guys. Every sub counts. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So I opened ESPN, was checking for some news, and I saw the Miami Dolphins are heavily interested, or at least expected to be heavily interested in wide receiver Kenny Galladay in free agency. And that raised, that made me raise an eyebrow. I was interested in that article, I was, I was interested in the possibility of Kenny Galladay on the Miami Dolphins. But uh, at the end of the day, the more that I thought about it, the more it's – if the Dolphins pursue Kenny Galladay, to me that's either a sign that they're moving on from Preston Williams due to the injuries, uh, just the lack of being on the field. When he's on the field, he has potential, but he doesn't see the field because he's hurt so consistently. Uh, either that – or they're potentially looking at replacing Devontae Parker and getting that contract off their hands or maybe even cutting him early if it doesn't cost too much money to do so. Um, or trading, obviously that's an option. But the reason I say that is because right now the Dolphins have all of the same type of receiver. We have all of our guys who are our main pass catchers on the team are 6'4", 2'6", 6 230 to 250 pounds. They're not uh, very fast. They don't separate extremely well. They're just guys who are going to be great at high pointing the ball. They're going to be great for Tua to throw the ball up to, and they can jump up and catch it. And Kenny Galladay is just another one of those types of guys. So I don't see a situation at all where Miami picks up Kenny Galladay and then still retains both Devontae Parker and Preston Williams, because that's just like, and Mike Gusecki, uh, but Gusecki's not going anywhere. So it, it would just be weird because you just kind of be reproducing the same type of receiver over and over and over again. And Miami very clearly does not need that guy. Miami very, very obviously needs a slot. They need someone who is quick, who is fast, and who can do a lot after the catch. Because Tua likes those short routes. He likes to dump the ball off quickly. Uh, and... You know, when things don't develop downfield, Tua seems to struggle unless if he has that safety blanket to get the ball out, you know, of his hands in a, a quick manner. So I don't think Kenny Galladay currently would make any sense. If we are, if the story is we hang on to Devontae Parker, we want to try out Preston Williams some more, plus we have Mike Kosicki as a, a main pass catcher, Kenny Galladay to me makes zero sense. However, in a scenario that maybe Devontae Parker is gone after another injury-filled season, that would be more interesting to me because that would add somebody who is like Devontae Parker, better than Devontae Parker, uh, some may argue, but healthy, doesn't get injured nearly as much, who is consistently at the top of his game day in, day out. Someone who has had good season after good season after good season after good season, and who has also done that with a struggling offense in Detroit. So if the Dolphins were to potentially move on from Devontae Parker, unfortunately, I mean, I think all of us would have wanted to see Parker stick around. But if the story is that Devontae Parker were to be gone, we would free up the cap space. We would get rid of a player who we are not depending on, gee, can we just can we try to squeeze 10 games out of him again? You know, is that a possibility that he's going to see the field for more than half the season and, you know, kind of sit in our hands and wait and see what happens? If we get rid of that scenario and replace him with an upgrade in terms of this guy's always going to be on the field. He's not going to miss a lot of games. He is not consistently hurt. 
Uh, and he also does everything that Devontae Parker does, and some may argue even better. Uh, I think that that makes plenty of sense. But that still comes with, even if we do that, we still need a slot. We could not be content with just Kenny Galladay. It would have to be Kenny Galladay plus drafting uh, Jalen Waddell, Rondell Moore, Kadarius Toney, you know, plug in whatever slot weapon you like. But that's the archetype of wide receiver that I think we would need at that point. Regardless of what we do, we need that slot. Uh, but to those of you who are very high on Kenny Galladay, and I understand why you would be high on Kenny Galladay because he's a very good receiver, uh, don't think that that would be enough for Miami to be content. I would expect that even if we were to pick up Galladay in free agency, we're still going to go after a slot. So that's the question I have for you guys. Are you interested in Kenny Galladay? If you are, do you want Kenny Galladay in exchange for Devontae Parker? Obviously not in a trade, but would you rather see Kenny Galladay in a Dolphins jersey than Devontae Parker? I would assume at this point, most Dolphins fans would probably say, yeah, definitely. Tired of seeing Devontae Parker get hurt. I'm tired of seeing him out because of a hamstring, because of an Achilles, because of a rib, because of whatever, because he stubbed his toe. He's missing five games. I would assume most, most Dolphins fans would say that. So let me know your comments, your thoughts down below, and what do you think is a reasonable price for Kenny Galladay in the 2021 season? If we were to sign him for a couple of years, what do you think is a reasonable price for him? Considering he's a good wide receiver, considering he's always on the field, uh, and he has produced in a lackluster offense in Detroit. What do you think? Let me know down below, guys. I will catch you very soon with some more videos, more updates, Dolphins news, and as free agency nears, more trades, all that kind of stuff. I will be hitting you with tons of content very soon. So thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Subscribe down below. Hit the like button for the archetype to put this video out to a bunch of people, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Have an awesome day, guys, and as always, fins up.